We just got home from the range and it was a, a good time. Remember, uh, shooting is a perishable skill. So you gotta keep sharp, you gotta stay sharp. Go uh, as often as you can or as often as you want. We brought the uh, SIG M400 tread with a Romeo 5 on it. brought the Troy uh, this is a an other it's got a ten and a half inch barrel uh, this is a Jersey legal uh, non NFA other in 556 we brought the trusty flat 19 these are all clear so don't worry anybody, I'm not going to shoot my wall. My This is my EDC, what I carry every day, 24 hours a day. This is with me, okay? It's a SIG P365 with a um, Streamlight TLR6 on it. This is my little lifesaver right here. And I've got my... Ruger SP-101, 357 Magnum, and now it's time to clean them. And I'm going to take this opportunity uh, with all the empty magazines that I have here. Okay, We came home with empty magazines, and I'm going to refill them with some um, um, self-defense ammo. Because tomorrow might be the beginning of... Uh, a long, a long war, a long fight, a long uh, insurrection. Well, we're going to be the, the counter insurrection, right? Uh, the counter insurgency, because there is an insurgency in our nation, and um, you know, God bless our our military, God bless our police. Uh, but there's only so much they can do, and God forbid if they're overwhelmed, stretched too thin, spread too thin or maybe defeated. Who knows uh, what can happen because we don't know our enemy and what they're planning. We know a little bit. We know they have plans. We know that they are going to do something. Um, what? We don't know. Maybe hit the, hit the grid, you know, like the electrical infrastructure, water, bridges and tunnels. Who knows? So my wife actually approached me today and asked if I wanted to go to the range, if I would take her. She has never shot an AR-15 before in her life. She's never shot a nine millimeter before in her life. She has a 32 caliber Beretta Tomcat, a little mouse gun, uh, a pocket gun. That's her, you know, that's the only gun she's ever shot. And that's the only ever, That's the only gun she was ever willing to shoot. I've tried on multiple occasions. Um, but today was good. She shot hundreds of rounds of 5.56, at least 100 rounds of 9mm, probably close to 200 rounds of, of each. 
yeah, at least 200 rounds of each. Um, we had a blast. I wish I, I wish I had more footage of me at the range, of my wife at the range. Um, but, we, you know, when you're excited, you, you got the guns, you're shooting, you're reloading, you're shooting. And it's time, too. You've got an hour. We actually purchased an extra hour. Um, so we were, there, we were there for a bit. We went through a lot of ammo. But I've got a lot of ammo. So it's good. Um, all right. Guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all very much. Because there are hundreds of channels that talk about prepping, that talk about guns, or whatever it is you're into, whatever it is that I'm doing, and um, there's there's many, many options. And I'm sure you watch them all. I watch, I watch many other channels, and um, I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad you're here with me. It's, I don't know, it's got, it's warming. It's a warming feeling. Uh, believe it or not uh, so all right on that note I'm gonna get to cleaning these guns and then I'm gonna show you a couple other things all right let me stop here so I don't have as much uh, combat ammo for my nine millimeter as I would have liked to but I've got enough And if this runs out, I've got, I've got more. And for the, uh, for my primary weapon, this is the ammo that I'm going to be using, guys. I still haven't decided which one I'm going to load up first, but it's going to be one of these three. Probably not the Frontier. It'll probably be one of these two. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'll probably go with the tap, the Hornady tap. Okay, because if you're going to do it, you got to do it right. If there's a communist insurrection and fighting in the streets, you want to fight with the best. And here we go. That's the best. All right, so I don't want to get too into this. I, I don't know. I was contemplating, debating whether I wanted to show you guys this. I don't want to come off as a... I don't know, like there's a lot of like fake commandos and whatnot on YouTube. Um, I do not look forward to wearing this. I hope I'll never have to put this on in anger or in defense or offense ever. But if it calls for it, the situation calls for it, you got it. It's better to have it and not need it, right? Uh, pray for the best, prepare for the worst. So just in case, I can go do what I gotta do to protect my community, my house, my people, my family. Um, got my rifle, I got my armor, okay. Got my reloads, six up here. I got my knife, I got my sidearm, I got my medical pack right here thumb pouch. I got three 40 rounders here in the HS, HSGI uh, rifle tacos. I got a double pistol taco with two uh, Glock 19 reloads and I threw on my uh, my VTAC sling onto my Troy. On my Troy I, ha I have a Holosun. I've got a Olight other than that, this is how she came. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are all uh, in a good place. And good luck tomorrow and beyond on Election Day. May God keep us all safe. And may God give you the strength to keep you and yours safe. God bless us all. And... Vote for Donald Trump, all right? Take care.